In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this 3D infographic chart in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created this option here. Then you can add the title, the detailed text along with the icon with some different color combination. You can just choose for the option 2, 3 and 4. And you can see here I've added some uh, shadow effect as well. And if you want to do some basic animation, you can do the animation to it. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert, shapes, select the rectangle draw a rectangle you can see here i can make it like uh, the width is 4 and this is 0.9 and shape outline make it no outline make sure to align center i'm going to add four more so you can see this is my second one maybe you can give some different color hold the control shift key and drag it down okay this is the third one and then one more I'm going to give maybe another color. So this four one I have added. Let me just put it in the center. Then I'm going to add uh, four more rectangles towards the left and four rectangles on the right. So again, go to the shapes, select the rectangle, draw a rectangle by holding the shift key. You can see here and depending on the requirement, maybe I can make it like 1.4 width and 1.4 height shape outline make it no outline shape field you can give some different color and give a gap here you can see here either you can make it straight or you can give a gap also then do the same thing here hold the control shift key you can just drag it here okay or later on also actually we don't need that one but i'm just for for the sake of explaining i'm just going to keep it here then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing control d hold the control shift key reduce the size and maybe i'll just put it here like this a little bit closer then this one hold the control shift key drag it down then this one again hold the control shift key drag it down so you can see here i have created these four rectangles so again let me just give some different colors for easy understanding all right you can see I've created the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this one with this shape okay I cannot just simply go and just make a rectangle and I can I cannot just do like this so you can see here there's extra shape and all those things so for to do that one what you need to do is let me just delete this part go to insert again shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle let me just zoom in draw the rectangle you can see here it should start from here till the one which is at the top okay it should match shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some light colors right mouse click go to the format shape i'm going to make it somewhat transparent all right the next thing is i would like to cut this part okay so go to insert shapes select uh, from the basic shape select this uh, right triangle draw a right triangle something like this shape outline make it no outline even i'm going to make it transparent this one so now instead of the left it should be right aligned okay you can see here i can make it flip vertical again flip horizontal so you can see here this particular area which i don't want i'm going to delete from here and make sure that this one and this one are properly aligned otherwise it will have one extra line there okay so this is okay i think this one it looks okay because this and this are at the same line no problems so now what i'm going to do is let me just select these two shapes press ctrl d to duplicate i'll keep aside for my later use i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key merge shape and subtract so you can see here i got this one or there's another way also which you can do it quickly but again that will uh, you need to do with precision so go to insert shapes lines select this freeform shape i'm going to select from here for example let me just zoom again okay which will start from here click here 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 and 
join this one shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some different color it's done the same thing i can do it for this also okay for this again i can go to the insert again follow the same one which i followed before or i can just go to insert shapes and sorry lines and select this one which is freeform shape from here from this one this green it will come here it will come here it will come here it will come here shape outline no outline and send this to back you can see here like this it happened you can make it a transparent and later on we can use it and then this is the last one again with the help of the lines i can create it more fast actually so again select the free form shape this will start from here 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 and done shape outline no outline and send this to back so you can see here we have got the shapes like this this way also you can do it or the professional way is to go with this one so let this one right triangle cut it and this is a quick way you want to do you can go ahead with this one so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a right colors to it okay so you can you can give any color of your choice for example let me just select this one go to the shape format i'm going to select maybe a dark blue here and here i'm going to choose maybe a light blue and here i'm going to choose maybe a this blue all right you can see here then i can select this one i can select either a dark green or light green it's up to you for example if you want to select light green here then you need to select dark green here and again a light green here okay so here you can see here the problem with the lines is we have to align it properly okay there is a problem with that one but if you do with this one with, with this approach it will be much more uh, more professional look anyway so let me just select the the next one i'm going to give maybe a orange here also orange and here i'm going to give a yellow color all right all we have to select make sure that all remove the transparency should be zero that will do it later and now this one i'm going to select maybe a purple here also i'm going to select the purple and here i'm going to select the dark purple how to select the dark purple select this purple first go to the shape fill uh, more fill colors and then increase the shade here you can see here it looks something like this and again i'm going to select all these shapes and make sure that there is no transparency we got this one so let me just align it properly yeah so the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to copy all these things here so i'm going to select only these shapes press ctrl d to duplicate ctrl g to group it move it aside shape format rotate i can select flip horizontal let me just move this one and i'm going to just place it here you can see here our design is ready now it's time to add some icons like i have added the icons here one i have the option number one title and then you can give some shadow effect also for example this is more darker here so you can do the same thing go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select this one you can see here first of all i'm going to select from here because it is more darker this side okay you can see here i'm going to select like this like this because this side should be more darker okay yeah shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to make it black and you can increase the transparency here all right or you can select the gradient fill also it's up to you for the gradient fill one place i'm going to select a black and change the direction to this one make it somewhat transparent you can see here and here i'm going to select again black but i'll make it fully transparent here so you can see here the shadow effect one more shadow effect you can create here also go to insert shapes again select the line i can create one shadow effect like this 
okay and again i'm going to copy this one and paste it here so you can see here one more shadow effect if you want you can just increase the size also like this shadow effect you can just double uh, control d to duplicate and you can add it here so it looks more kind of a realistic uh, object all right so then go to insert text box i'm going to type 01 make it bold increase the size i'm going to select the font white color put it one control d this is my second this is my third and this is the fourth so i'm just going to change to four three two and one and then you can go to insert icons select any icons of your choice it's taking some time but uh, if you have a fast internet connection it will come fast anyway if it is not working you can just try once again it should work yeah so i'm randomly i'm just selecting few icons click insert move it aside i'm going to make the height and width as maybe 0.5 and graphic fill i'm going to make it white and start one by one selecting and positioning here at the top of each bar you can see here like this and then you can go to insert text box you can add title white font and you can add detailed text here add detail text here and put it here the same thing you can copy now hold the control shift key just drag and drop here okay again this one also align it properly and done we are done with the design and if you want to do some animation you have to select this one group it and then do the animation part if you want